So the agent called me at 7.30 on Monday and told me, you've got half an hour to think about it. What's happening guys, Jaden here. And today I'm gonna take you through my craziest auction experience. It cost me $750 in reports, three different inspections, and I ended up missing out on the property. So today I'm gonna to share with you what happened with my auction story, the mistakes I made, and hopefully a couple of lessons that you can learn from. So if you're thinking about buying your first home or considering going to auction, I'm sure you're gonna learn a few lessons today. Five years ago, I never would have thought I'd get myself into this position. We bought our house thinking it was gonna be our forever home. We were gonna be there for ages, grow old, Monique and I were gonna be sitting on the back deck, toasting our champagnes for a long while. Fast forward to today, my two little kids, Sienna and Roman, are getting bigger and bigger, and our house that we bought five years ago is getting smaller and smaller. So, Monique and I have been on a hunt for a place for the last six months. You've seen our videos, we've set up the alerts, we've been hounding the local agents, we've got our criteria, we know exactly what we want. And then three weeks ago, the perfect house came up for sale. It was four bedroom, it had the pool, it had the backyard where I can kick the ball around with my little son Roman. It was perfect. We were ready to pull the trigger. From the moment we first laid eyes on the place, my wife Monique was sharing with all her friends. She started showing her mum, my mum. We got the kids involved. They were deciding on whose bedroom was gonna be whose and we hadn't even been to the first open house. So lucky for us, after the listing came online, they were doing an open home that night and we were straight there, it was at 4.30, which was really weird to go there after work and see the house and my God, it literally ticked every box. It was gonna be our forever home. It was the home that Monique had always pictured. It had a white picket fence. You walked in, you opened the doors, it was an expansive, beautiful space. I'm not trying to sell the home. And at that first home open, Monique was standing in the kitchen looking at me and said like, this is our home. This is where we're gonna live. I can see the kids in the backyard. She'd already started planning Christmas there with our family. And this is only the first open house. Listen, the mistake I made was I brought the kids with me. So Sienna, my daughter, who's four years old, I walked around the house, we went upstairs to the bedroom and one of the beds had pink sheets. And she decided like that was her room. That's where she was gonna stay. She started telling me this room's gonna be for Roman. This is where mommy and daddy are gonna sleep. And we were hooked. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you would have seen, I've said, one of the biggest mistakes that first home buyers make is getting too emotionally attached to the property. And it's pretty easy to say, but not easy to do, because with us, we were there. We were in love and we had to have that home. During the whole car ride home, after that first open house, Monique was looking through the photos, so excited. Sienna was telling me about how much she was looking forward to having a backyard and a pool. And it was, it was really exciting. Everyone was getting involved. And at that point, we decided we were going to auction and we were gonna be buying this property. We had to do it pretty much at all costs. So that's when I started planning and doing all the stuff I normally do. Obviously, you know, checking the numbers, looking at comparable sales, doing all my research, and I was pretty confident of the number that I was gonna make an offer on and what our budget was gonna be. We've got a whole video on the auction buying process, but rest assured, we followed that through to a T. I arranged and booked my building and pest inspection, which was $550. I got my solicitor to do all the checks, that was $200. And I spent more time researching, speaking to an agent I knew, speaking to a builder that I knew, just to verify you know, what they'd spent on the property and make sure that I was gonna get a good deal. But really the most important thing was getting and securing the home for my family. So fast forward a week, I brought Josh, my brother, along to the second inspection just to make sure that I hadn't missed anything. You know, have that second set of eyes just to see what he thought, if I was being crazy and too emotional and like, you know, just to see what he thought. Felt like a big decision. I deal with property all the time, but you know, when it's your home, it's your baby, you just wanna make sure you're doing the right thing. It's just nice to have a second opinion. So Josh walked through with me and said it was awesome. He loved it, thought it was gonna be the perfect home. And he agreed that this was gonna be the kind of house that we'd probably spend the next 20 to 30 years in. The kids would go through high school. We'd sort of fast forward and even got to the point of talking about auction bidding strategies, you know, using some of the jump bidding techniques that Nathan's covered in another video. And really I was at the point of getting my ducks into the row. I'd finalized my top price, I got my building and pest report done. It was just a matter of waiting until the day of auction, which was only two weeks away. The hard part about going to the second open house is we saw how much competition there was gonna be and it just started to feel like the whole auction process just wasn't fair. There were seven other couples there, 
all around the same age, all with kids, and who all wanted the property as much as what we did. It was at this point I started to actually feel a bit worried because I knew how far along Monique was. She was so pumped about this property. Like I said, she'd tentatively booked Christmas with her family there. The kids were talking about getting pool toys. Mon had started even looking at furniture to put in the house. Like, we were committed. But at the same time, I started to tell her, well, there's no certainty because it's gonna go to auction. You know, we don't have a guarantee. It could go for way more than what I think. It's hard to know. And th that's the whole thing with auctions. It's just doesn't feel fair. It didn't feel fair the whole time. And then even for me, in the back of my mind, like dealing with this stuff every day, there was other concerns. What happens if the bank doesn't value it for what we pay at auction? And there's all this other stress in the background that it's a frightening experience. So at this point, my main concerns are like, are we gonna miss out or get the property? Is it gonna sell for way more than what I think? And ultimately, if we're just gonna miss out, because over the last few months, we'd been going to properties and stuff had been selling a bit quicker than what we were expecting. Through this whole process, in the back of my mind, I kept thinking auctions are just a mugs game because there's no guarantee. I've spent all this money and literally for the whole four week campaign while the auction was going on, my life was on hold. Everything was paused. It's like, well, I'm not gonna look at other properties because we're gonna buy this one. This is gonna be our house. I can put all that stuff on hold. I'll turn off my notifications for real estate. I'm gonna get everything focused. If I have to pay for another valuation report, that's fine. I'm gonna do that. And unfortunately, you just have to stop everything. Even at work, I was thinking about this property because you're like, well, when you buy the property, you've got to sort of organize settlement date. I've got to organize movers. And in Queensland, you've got to have a 30 day turnaround from when you sign the contract at auction to settle. So it was all going to happen really quickly, all in time before Christmas. It was just a lot was happening. It was exciting. It was nerve wracking. It was frightening. And with all these emotions at this point, I just wanted it to be over. I didn't want to have to wait anymore. I didn't want to have to do any more reports. I didn't want to go to any more open houses. I just wanted to just get the keys, take my kids and move into the home. Think how you'd feel at this point. I was like a tiger ready to pounce. And that's when Monday night at 6.24 PM, I get a call from the agent. And as I'm picking up the call, I'm thinking, why is she calling me? Is she doing like that real estate agent thing, trying to sound out offers and bids before to kind of set the reserve for a seller? The truth is we see this every day. So I kind of knew what she was gonna ask and I knew to keep my mouth shut, but I couldn't have been more wrong. The agent called and explained that they'd had a really strong offer on this dream home of ours and that they were likely not to go ahead with the auction on Saturday. So she said I had to make my best and final offer tonight, otherwise I was potentially gonna miss out on the property. I was just thinking this was classic agent tactics. Yeah, sure, you've got an offer on the place. Yeah, sure, you're doing that. To me, it seemed like she was just trying to set the reserve price for Saturday, sound out where everyone's at, and then trying to create a bit more competitive tension for Saturday when it rolls around, so there's more hands flying around and the place sells for a new record. So I asked her, all right, if you've got an offer, how much is it? She replied, no, I can't tell you that. So I actually called her out and I said, well, obviously you're just trying to set the reserve is, you know, are you being genuine? To which she replied, yes, the property is selling tonight. Now I hadn't planned for this because I'd spent the last four weeks working around the auction, my strategy around that. I'd had my reports and I was ready to go, but not that night. Listen, I was still cynical because it didn't make sense to me because why wouldn't they go to auction? It was Monday and the auction was on Saturday. It did not make sense to me. After three or four minutes of back and forth with the agent, I realized that she wasn't having me on and that it was genuinely gonna sell tonight. It was like a kick to the gut. This was gonna be our family home, not to mention the time, but it was an emotional investment that was really killing me. Monique had overheard and she was standing right next to me, just getting a sense that this was not going the way we'd planned. And that's the thing with auctions, they're inherently unfair. Because realistically, the whole point of an auction is to get a record price for the seller and not necessarily help me as the buyer get a new home. So the odds were completely stacked against me. So back to the phone call with the agent. She said that I had to make an offer tonight. I said, I wasn't prepared to do that. I'm not gonna bow to high pressure sales tactics. And I said, quite frankly, it wasn't legal what she was doing. Be that as it may, she said, well, the property's gonna sell tonight. You've got to make your offer. And so we went back and forth. I tried to feel her out and said, well, you know, is the offer over this much? Is it over this much? In the end, I thought she was bluffing. I didn't cave to her high pressure tactics and just said, leave me out of this. I'm not gonna play this game. The next morning I woke up there was a notification on my phone to say the property was under offer, it was unconditional, and it had sold. I called the agent that morning to find out that it actually had sold for a crazy price, way more than what I even thought it was worth. And really, that's the key lesson that I took away from this. Firstly, 
that buying at auction, all the odds are stacked against you as the buyer. It's there for the seller to get that record price. Second lesson is that there's sunk costs. And it wasn't only the emotional cost of my family, my parents were involved in having to explain to them that we've missed out on the property, but it was the financial cost of all the reports and the time that I spent investigating, looking into this property that ultimately we weren't even in the running for. Thirdly, just it's a frightening process. There's no safety net when you go to auction. There's no subject to finance clause. There's no subject to building and pest. That is it. You're in with the full box and dice. So you really just need to go in there with your eyes wide open and understand that's the situation you're getting in and that Really, you could just miss out on this property altogether. In the end, would I go to auction again? <laughs> Definitely not. Like after all that, after the emotional, the financial cost, I am not going anywhere near an auction ever again in my life. I'm putting it here online. That is it, I'm done with auctions. Have you had a horror story with an agent or with a property? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. We'll trade some notes and see if we can help you out. So that's it today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up or like below. Catch ya.